Hi, this is Julie Hall. Welcome to the Excel to Word document automation add-in. Our add-in makes it easy to update content in Word and PowerPoint documents based on analysis, data, and charts in Excel workbooks. In this video, I'll show you how to map or link content between Excel and PowerPoint so the content can be easily updated. There are three types of content that can be updated. Text within Word or PowerPoint can be updated from or linked to a single cell within Excel. Text can be just about anywhere, in a title, a paragraph, or just a number in a paragraph. PowerPoint tables can be sourced from cell ranges, named ranges in Excel. In PowerPoint, text and table items can be formatted any way you want. The updating only replaces the text. It does not modify your formatting. The third type of content is charts. Excel charts can be updated in PowerPoint documents by using the table that created the chart. Charts can also be updated as images. Next, I will show you how to update PowerPoint when you already have the links established. We will use the templates that you can find on the Start tab of our add-in. So first, I'm going to change the customer name to Test, the user licenses to 2000, and the project duration to seven. Then I'll submit the content in Excel. You can see that that was successful. And I'll go over to PowerPoint and update the content. When updating PowerPoint, you need to download the updated file. So I'll go ahead and download the updated PowerPoint file. And when that opens, we'll see that the changes have been made to the PowerPoint document. If I look at the second page, I can see that the customer name was changed to test and that the chart and the tables have been updated. The first thing I'm going to do is open up my Excel document that I'm going to link to PowerPoint. And I want to make sure that I have the add in open so since I've already placed it into Excel, I can simply click on it and it'll open up in the sidebar. The next step is to create a text link in Excel. So I'll go to the add-in and I'll go over to list. And the text link I'm going to create is for my customer here. So I'm going to click on my customer and then I can go down to ranges because so I'm going to name this range and I'm going to name it, it already has a prefix there of R underscore and then I'm just going to add my customer and then I'll name the range and then I can see up here that that name has been added. Now I'm going to link a table still on the list tab of the add-in I'm going to go down to tables and the add-in will find any tables that are on my worksheet so I will look at list tables on worksheet it has found two tables and the table that I want to link right now is this table, which I had earlier called source table. But in order to link it, I'm going to need to add R underscore and then update. And now my table will be linked. Next, I'm going to create a chart. What I'm going to do is choose this table and then I'm going to insert this chart and I'm going to move it down here and out of the way. Now I'll show you how to set up a link for a chart although when I link to PowerPoint I'm going to do it through the table. So I'm going to go under charts and again the add-in will list any charts that are on the worksheet and chart 4 happens to be this chart here and so I'm going to change its name I'm going to add the R underscore and then I'm going to add source and update it. I will check to see if I have all my linkable content. So on the list tab, I'm going to do list linkable content. And I do have the three items that I've created links for, which are the table, the cell, and the chart. Then I'll go over to submit and I'll submit that content. Next, I'll open up my PowerPoint document and I'll make sure the add-in is open. 
And then now that I've submitted the information from Excel, I'll need to create the links in PowerPoint. So I'll go to the Link tab, and then I'll choose Get Excel Source Data. And I can see that I've brought over one text, one table, one chart. And if I look at the data I have here, I can see that I have the text, table, and chart. Now I'm going to create the individual links in PowerPoint. First, I'm going to create a link for my text. So I'm going to create a text box. And I'm going to type test in there. And what I'll need to do is right click on the edge of the box or shape and then come down to edit alt text. And if I come over to the add in, I can see I have my type as text. This is the one I want to use. And then when I find that one, it creates code for me. So I'm going to copy this code and put it into the alt text. And that'll create the link for that cell. Now I will create a table to link. So first I'm going to go over and change the type of content to table. And then my name changes to the source table and the code appears down here. And what I'll need to do is insert a table. And I can tell that I need to be having a table that is five rows by three columns. So I will go ahead and have five rows by three columns. And I will move my table down here. And then in order to link it, if my alt text is already here, I can just paste in this code to here. If it's not open, again, what I do is right click on the edge of the shape, go to the edit alt text, and then I can copy and paste. In order to create my link for my chart in PowerPoint, I first have to go back to Excel and I'm going to copy my chart. Back in PowerPoint, I'm going to go ahead and paste my chart and then I'm going to actually add the table code over to the chart. This is the code from the table that we used initially to create the chart. Now back in Excel, I can make some changes so that we can see how the changes occur in PowerPoint now that I have everything linked. I'm going to change my number of users to 500, my duration to 8 years, I'm going to change the name of the company to Analysis Place, and we can see that some things have changed down here. And we'll look and see. I will also I'm going to make a change here so we can see for sure that things have changed in the PowerPoint. So once I've made my changes, I want to go ahead and submit content. And I can see that I successfully submitted a cell, a table, and a charter image. Now I come back over to PowerPoint and I'm going to go to the Update tab and I will update the document. Now when you update PowerPoint, you'll need to download the updated document. So it says three items have been updated. Let's close that and then we'll go and download my updated PowerPoint and we should be able to see the changes. So I can see that the name was changed to Analysis Place, and I can see my numbers were changed, and my chart was changed. We hope this video has made it easier for you to link Excel with PowerPoint using the Excel to Word document automation add-in. Thank you, and have a great day.